scattered through this part of the state. We are also aware of his personal generosity to individuals and their families. Other than some pastors, many of you are not aware of his generous gifts to families who find themselves in financial crisis during the Christmas season. He presents gift cards to pastors who are trusted to share those cards with individuals in their congregation who need a bit of assistance during a difficult time. Joe Anderson, you asked me never to mention that, but I'm sorry, I just did. My task is difficult. First, it is difficult to introduce Joe Anderson because he needs no introduction. The second reason it's difficult to introduce Joe Anderson is because not only does he not require an introduction, neither does he desire an introduction. If Joe Anderson had his way, he would be seated right now in the 14th row, about 27 chairs from the end. It is his nature to fit in with his friends and his neighbors. His choice is not to be up here on the stage in the spotlight standing here by this good looking man. <laughs> However, it is this man who has created this tempest in a teapot. It is he who has helped to bring us together here today so that we can stand shoulder to shoulder, united under one cause, political and spiritual freedom. We stand here united as one voice and we say to the ACLU and the leaders of our country, we are tired of your anti-Christian leanings. We are disgusted that you are more interested. one voice to the ACLU and the leaders of our country. We are tired of your anti-Christian leanings. We are disgusted that you are more interested in making us politically correct than in making us spiritually secure. We are tired of your ignoring the fact that our nation was founded on biblical principles. We are, dis we are disgusted that you are rewriting our history books 
to leave out that provable time. Ladies and gentlemen, I introduce to you a good friend, Joe Anderson. Well, you know when you speak like I do, following a speaker like that, you got a lot of trouble to start with. Lord have mercy. You know, it humbles me to be up here this afternoon, about blinded by the sun, but I can see a little. But anyhow, it humbles me to be up here before most of all of y'all, and I know so many of you. I've seen people here this afternoon that I haven't seen in a year or two. But I want to thank the veterans and all the other people that's been here this afternoon. In fact, I had one sitting there by me in that blue shirt. It was telling me just before we started, his name is Bill Rains. He was a school teacher of mine. So I asked Bill, just, and I won't, I won't talk about him but just a second, but I asked Mr. Bill, I said, Bill, was you ever around any fighting? He said, well, you know, I've told you this three times, you just forget. He said, I was over there in the, in the Pacific, Philippines somewhere, and the first day, there was 5,000 American soldiers killed. And I know there's a bunch of this kin to y'all all through this audience today. I know I had them here. There's been boats named after people that had family members that was killed. And Bill Raines was one of them that was lucky to make it out of there. And all these veterans that's here today and pushing and that didn't make it is allowing us to be here today in this America that we call free. You know, man has forgotten God. That's why this is happening today. That's the very reason that this monument is here. Let me come on. Let me come on. That's the reason we stand here today by this monument. And I cannot believe, I cannot believe that we have a government that some kind of another is allowing the ACLU to tell me what to do with my little monument. You know, that's nothing but the freedom of speech. You know, anybody could put another in there by it if they wanted to. But, but we put something here in Cross City, Florida that's all over, starting in the Supreme Court building in Washington, D.C. It's 53 places on the Supreme Court building. It's on the outside. It's on the doors. It's all over the inside. It's on the courtrooms across this nation. But when we get it in little backwards Cross City, Florida, the big multi-million hundred dollar George Soros sponsored ACLU comes over here and tells us we got to move it. We need to stand up. Sit down, I don't have a few more minutes. I could talk to the sun went down. But you know, folks, I know y'all are just about as sick of all this as I am. I go to Gainesville, Florida. Y'all all go to Gainesville. I'm not even going into it, the depths of it, but those nice banners stretched across University Avenue makes me sick. But I ain't sued nobody. I ain't contacted nobody because I guess it's called freedom of speech. But when we do this about God Almighty and His works, we got a problem in the land, a bad problem. And that's what's wrong with America today. That's why we're in a down spiraling mood. That's why our money's running out. God is not favoring this country like He did for over two centuries. That's what's happening here today. I know it. I feel it. Most of y'all feel it, don't you? They're talking about our social security. Talking about everything starts getting wrong when God gets out of it. 
Y'all all all know that, don't you? Let me get back to my prepared speech. (laughs) God cannot be removed from anything. They're trying to separate God. You can't separate God Almighty from us. He's taking care of this old heart ticking in here, that last breath of air, whether you're at church, school, talking about prayer in schools. We got a gentleman going to follow me up here and tell you all something you can't even believe. It'll make you sick at your stomach that our federal courts had the audacity, if I pronounce that right, to sue him and put him in federal courts and try him for a 15 second prayer folks he's from right here in Florida not too far from us he's going to follow me up here in a few minutes and uh, but uh, you know you know it humbles me I've said that but it humbles me the weight that it puts upon me I stand here before y'all today on the very soil. I was born and raised right here like a lot of you. And I love this place. I love the freedom of speech that you and me have here. But to to think now that the ACLU that's got hundreds of millions of dollars donated to them is fighting this in the federal courts and Liberty Council that y'all just donated graciously to, and I did, they don't have but four or five million dollars to do this. They're not charging me or the county a penny to do this. Nothing. It's free. It's free. But, but, but do you know what the budget of the ACLU is? I don't know exactly, but it's into the several hundreds of millions of dollars is what they've got. They go to the courtroom with four or five attorneys. Harry goes up there by himself. That's the way it works. Folks, I tell y'all, we're fighting, we're fighting a lot of bad people today. I don't want to talk about him any worse than that publicly. But we need to stand up and show them that we got some backbone. What's, what, what's, happened, what's, happened, what's happened to this country? What's happened to this country is we've got to be a spineless United States in the last five or ten years. We don't have the guts to tell people what the truth and the right thing is. And a lot of our politicians have done that. You know how many politicians I've had to volunteer to help me with this? I could put them all in my shirt pocket. They ha- Sir? Okay, okay. Anyhow, I could go on and on. Y'all have heard my little speech. I had six or eight minutes and I probably already used most of that up. So I'm going to just go on. But people in Tennessee, Texas, has sent me so many things I could elaborate on about courthouses in their states where the Supreme Courts in the state of Texas, Tennessee, and various places sent me pictures, has okayed this. So I'm going to leave this with y'all. This ain't gonna be moved. When I, when, I put it, when I put it here, I didn't intend to move it. And I ain't intending to move it now. And if this has to go to the Supreme Court, me and Harry's gonna take it right on. But it will stay in Dixie County. Let me close with this as you sit down. Let me just close with this last statement. It humbles me, again I say that, but it humbles me deeply to stand here with God Almighty behind me. And how can I fail in this project with Him in it with me? 